Dan and our friends from the blog industry, Tuleo and Tito Reggie. Tita Reggie. Ang galing mo daw. Ayun na. Hindi ka ba na intimidate? Oo, intimidate. At first po, ang dami po kasi nagsasabi na Uh, sobrang galing na nga ni Tita Eddie and he's the legend so um, kinakabahan po ako nung first interaction namin pero um, sobrang vibe po niya tsaka super um, lucky ako na once in a lifetime na experience na nakatrabaho ko si Tita Eddie kasi there's so many people who really want to work with him and it just so happened na parang madaya nga na first movie ko tapos nakatrabaho ko na yeah. first movie mo to Apo. so ayun and um I'm really just so blessed na I was able to work with such a great actor ano yung first uh, exciting movie? Eh? um <coughs> yung first exciting po namin was yung nakita nyo ata sa trailer yung mm -hmm. nag yeah, no. yung nag hello ako sa mm -hmm. sa bintana Sabi sinabi niya kayo na sa amin na ang galing mo raw ng aktor. Sabi niya konsumo na aktor. Konsumo na aktor. Ganon na ganon. Baka, I think, for me, kung ako yung tatanawin, I wouldn't consider myself like the best actor, pero siguro yung potential to be something great, maybe one day, if I really focus, and if I hone that craft, maybe. Pero for now, I mean, I'm just a newbie actor. Yeah, but from someone like Eddie Garcia to say that. I'm so honored, of course. Thank you, Tito Heffy. I'm so honored, yeah. Saan ka pinakanahirapan? Yung torture scenes mo, kamusta? Actually, hindi naman mahirap yung torture scenes. Kasi, to be honest, pumayag ako na talagang they could hurt me. Kasi, It's so hard to get that authentic reaction. Kung paano ganon yung yung sampal or something. So I said, yeah, it's okay. Like they pull my hair or like slap me and stuff like that. So may totoo ng sampal. Yeah, yeah. But yung yung nahirapan ako siguro is parang may times na sobrang tagal na ako na sa upuan na parang minsan nahihilo ka na or feeling mo may matay ka na pero you have to stay focused on the scene pero to be honest it's like there's times na tapos nakaduct tape pa yun so parang hindi din ako pwede mo kinakramo talaga kasi like how long? may kalay ka pa sa kamay gano'n? ako napansin ko pag sobrang tagal na parang nagiging claustrophobic na ako parang ramdam ko sa buong katawan ko na makati na everywhere pero di ko I can't scratch and um may isang time na pakap at ako may five or six tas parang nasa chair kami since after dinner makati na everywhere kung makati I think psychological lang yun na parang kasi you know na hindi mo abot yung likod mo or yung pamo kaya mas nagiging mind So, paano mo nga sasabihin kung may kumakati na sa'yo? Paano mo papakamon? Meron kang doctor? Uh, meron pong makeup artist na... Tagakamon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Swerte naman ng makeup artist. <laughs> Tony, some role mo dito is serious. Ano, wala kang leading lady or ano. Unlike other actors, pinipayot sa... May love team, love team. Mm -hmm. So, after this, siyempre, Marikin Nascaw with Eddie Garcia as co-star. So, ang direction ng career mo is talaga nyo. Um, yourself. No? Yeah, I I honestly believe na uh, God has a plan for everybody. Meron tayong destiny siguro. Siya, um, wala eh. Yun talaga yung plan niya para sa akin is na this, uh, my first movie would be this. You know what I mean? So, lahat na lang ng opportunities na pinibigay ni Lord sa akin, uh, tinatanggap ko. Siya, gusto kong alagaan gawin, and gawin yung best ko. So you're not closing your doors naman to having a lab team? No, of course not. Kasi meron kang ano, di ba? Keystone. Ay, ano? Ah, Keystone. Yeah, Keystone. Keystone. Tony, how important is the cinema entry for you? Feeling ko, parang, this is really a milestone to put into my resume. Kasi, I mean, one, working with Tita Lee and Direk Benedict and 
for my first movie to be part of the Cinemalaya Film Festival. Yeah. Parang, it, if I continue to be an actor, no one will be able to take that away from me. You know what I mean? I'll always be able to say that my very first movie was working with this cast and that mm -hmm. I was I, I was in the most prestigious uh, film festival. So I think it's just such an honor, you know what I mean? And no one will be able to take that away from me. Did your perception of the martial art change after this? Um, what was your perception of being born after? Uh, you grow up abroad, uh, right? To be completely honest, I mean, I was born in the States and my family is also very westernized, so we only heard old wives' tales about martial law and we're really not political people, so um, it, it wasn't something that we really had a opinion about. I mean, we have no right because we don't really know much about it, you know what I mean? So we have so much opinion and like we've never even experienced it. So, I mean, my my experience working with this movie is that, I mean, I'm very pro-freedom and this movie is actually pro-Filipino, you know what I mean? So I think now, like, what I can take away from this movie is that I think um, a lot of millennials are, um, I think, just really unaware of their surroundings and, um, I mean, it's not that that's a good thing, but at the same time, sometimes we're so sheltered that we can't help it, you know, because our parents do try to protect us and we have social media, you know what I mean? Our upbringing is really different now. We live through a screen, so sometimes reality hits us like a truck. So I think if there's anything I can take away from this and I would like to share with my fellow millennials is that really I think it's just important for us to stop being ignorant and really just do our research so that we can be more I mean, it's your choice if you want to be active and really protest about certain issues, but at least so that we we do, um, it's not that we need to have an opinion about it, but at least we know all of the current events that's happening around us, you know what I mean? Just so that we, we're informed. Pero Tony sabi ni Direk, isa yun sa mga unang tinanong niya sa lahat ng nag-audition, including you. What do you think of martial law? What did you say then? Um, I told him the same thing. I don't know much about martial law. So yan? Yeah. Kasi, yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'd rather be honest about um, I think that and also Derek Benedict also told me that it was really like the look of the character. Um, yeah. So, you think Tony, when the millennials watch this, they'll get an idea from how was martial law was like? I think so. I think um, they'll, they'll be able to take something of it, you know what I mean? And they'll definitely... Um, I'm curious, sila eh, parang ah, oh, ganon ba talaga sa martial law? Like, is that really what happened? And like, I mean, Google is your best friend. Once they research that online, they'll really see. You know what I mean? Tony, can you describe your character? Um, How are you like him? <laughs> uh, so, Carlos, I think he he really is just like um, a millennial or stereotypical naman. But uh, I think him, kasi he comes from a very sheltered upbringing. So he is ignorant to the real roots of, of martial law, you know what I mean? So he is kind of biased because he doesn't know, he's never experienced it firsthand. So he, does, he, he really doesn't know. So he thinks that martial law is a good thing, which it, it, I mean, it, it's not, you know what I mean? So um, yeah, my character is just, he's very sheltered. So he gets to experience uh, what he thinks is good martial law first hand when he meets uh, the colonel, which is Tita Adi's character. And then the movie will revolve around our interactions together. What happened to Carlos in that uh, torture scene? Yeah, um, so he's going to get tortured. Activist, or, is he an activist? Or, uh, activist, is he a human rights victim? Or? Uh, Carlos? Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. It, it just thinks. No, the beast. He's taking it in. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> oh, oh, no, 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 no,
Wala, hindi siya tablet. May shirt ka ni Matoni. Pero meron ka raw basketball scene na nakita. <laughs> yeah. Kailangan. Abs ka pala eh. Kailangan daw ng, ano. Oo, kailangan something. yun. <laughs> so, hindi siya tinorture dito ng, ano, yung kinuryente. Never done. Oh. Meron, meron naman. Pero hindi doon. Hindi yung brutal na. Secret. You know what we're talking about? Because at that time, talaga ang pino torture dun sa ano? Private bar. Oh, tapos sir. Yeah. Hindi ko nilang isa spoil. Aba. So first day alang kilo. So to ni ano? Pano kaya yung lead dito ni dito Edna? So magigi magkalahaban kay ni Edna sa ano? Tapos, sa Sini Malaya Award. Ah, best actor. Ah, co-lead mo si Tito Ed. You're both lead now. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, leveling. Tito Ed. Hindi ka support, ha? Leveling ka ng ano? Oh my gosh. Siyempre. Legendary actor. Oh my gosh. Si Tito Ed yun. Legendary. Ano kayo manalo ka, Tony? One day. One day. Siguro kung if I really work hard. Hindi, dito nga. What if yung debut mo, ikaw nanalo ka agad, no? Hindi naman siguro. Hindi siya sure. Why not? Why not? Anything is possible. Diba? Pero I think, honestly, with hard work, anything is possible. Saka genuine yung reaction mo sa mga torture scenes. Dahil sabi mo talagang nagpasampal ka. So, ang makikita namin, totoo. Yeah, mostly. I mean, yung suntok hindi naman totoo. Pero yung mga, yung mga kaya lang. Pero merong isang instance na may isang torture na parang involves a uh, golf club. Eh, si Direk, nung first day namin sa torture scene, parang tinatansya niya kung saan aabot yung tuhod ko. Eh, aksidente, hindi na napansin. Natamanan niya talaga yung tuhod ko. Sobrang sakit. As in, muntik na ako mahimatay sa sakit. Tapos, Um, hindi niya inakala na sobrang sakit na malakas pala yung, yung golf club. Parang kinabukasan, ang laki ng rules ko sa yeah, yung pasa ko sa, sa tuwod. Yun lang yung so, pinaka- So, sinire ka nag-torture sa iyo, hindi <laughs> ko Eddie. Yun lang yung pinakamasakit na, na experience ko. Pero everything else is fine. Kamusta isang panik ito, eh? Malakas ba? Sakta lang. <laughs> I, I'm sure Tito Eddie doesn't also want to hurt me so bad naman. He's a professional actor. Pero Tony, nung nasa US ka ba, aware na sa status ka na dito Eddie Garcia, da Eddie Garcia? Asa nito ko lang nalaman kung gano'n siya ka-usain, na-director, actor. So nung nalaman mo yun, hindi ka kinabahan? Kinabahan. Yeah, kinabahan. Pero, um, parang short lang yung feeling na yun after mas na-amaze ako and mas sa lahat ng mga eksena na ginagawa namin talaga it was super helpful to have such a, a great actor who was really in the moment in all the scenes so that I can really draw that emotion from him Hindi mo ba siya sinert sa Google para malaman na kanyang background? Ah, ginugol ko po siya Anything you learned from us? Sobrang, sobrang dami niyang nagawa ng pelikula. Sobrang. 600 per minute. Sobrang. Personally. Personally, what did you learn? From the short. I think, personally, getting to know Eddie, he's a very respectable man. And he takes his work so seriously. You know, and when you work with somebody like that, it really inspires you to take your job seriously. So um, it's really amazing that just working with him. Like you really want to level, you really want to level up, you really want to be better. Because um, if you don't step up your game, parang ano yung term lalamunin kaya ano yun? So it was it was really inspiring to work with. Uh, so you observed him on the set. Yeah, just like observing the nuances and he told me it's really like the eyes, you know, you really have to express it through the eyes. You don't really have to do like the biggest motions or something, but as long as like your eyes is there. Any pieces of advice from Tito A.D.? 
Yeah, just like the the in terms of acting, that's the one thing I remember you said is about the eyes. But I uh, know Tita is a really funny guy. Tawa niya kung ano ito. Sakit ka to. Yeah, parang mas, the C 